Wow, what were you doing? Um, we were balancing balloons on our noses. <laughs> it's fun, Tabby. It looks really fun. Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. Do you think you could teach me how to do it? What? <laughs> teach you how to bounce a balloon on your nose? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, you're too young. You're just a little kid. Uh, but I, I think I could try. No, Tabby. It took me years and years to learn how to do to bounce a balloon on my nose. Anyway, I gotta go. See you later, Tabby. Oh. Hey, Tabby. Hey, Stevie. You look a little sad. What's wrong? Well, Noodle and Stagehand were playing with balloons, and they were doing a really cool trick, but Noodle said he couldn't teach me how to do it because I'm just a little kid. Aww. Well, Tabby, that doesn't sound very nice of Noodle. It wasn't. Yeah, I wonder, you know, young people can do a lot of cool things. I wonder if someone could help us. Did I hear somebody say young people like me? <laughs> hey, Grandpa. Hey, Grandpa. Hey, Mr. Stevie. Hello, Tabby. So what's going on, guys? Well, Noodle was doing this really cool balloon trick. And whoa, whoa, was it the balance and the balloon on the nose trick? It was. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> and I wanted to learn it, but he said he couldn't teach it to me because I'm too young. Too young? Why, I've been doing that trick ever since I was a little old whippersnapper. I can teach you how to do it if you want to learn how. I do. Oh, yeah. All right, well, how about you guys go downstairs and you can teach her. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go talk to Noodle. Oh, that Noodle needs a talking to. He yeah. wasn't nice, was he? He no. wasn't. No. I, and I think I have the perfect Bible story for him. All right, well, I'll see you later, Stevie. All right, see you, Grandpa. Come on, Tabby. Okay. Bye, Tabby. Bye, Stevie. Noodle really wasn't nice to Tabby. And I need to talk to him. But for me to see Noodle, we got to call him up. Can you help me? Awesome. Do you remember how? That's right. I say one, two, three, and we're all going to say, Hey, Noodle. Let's try it. One, two, three. Hey, Noodle. Hey, kids. Let's try that again. One, two, three. Hey, Noodle. Hey, kids. All right, one more time as loud as you can. One, two, three. Hey, Noodle! Well, hey, Mr. Stevie! Hey, Noodle. What was that? It's an elevator! Ooh, cool. Yeah, we like it! You can get on it, and you can ride mm -hmm. up and down and push all the buttons and everything. You want to see it again? Watch! Yeah, I want to see it again. Hold on, let me get on it. All right. Going down? That is and amazing. And going up! So it can go down and up. Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Stevie? Well, I'm here to talk to you, Noodle. Talk to me. So, I heard that you were balancing balloons on your nose earlier. Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. Stagehand and I, yeah, oh yeah, we're really good at it. We've been doing it a long, long time, and we can balance some balloons. <laughs> yep. And then you had Tabby come up, right? Oh yeah, Tabby. You remember? Uh huh. Yeah, my cousin. Yeah. Tabby. And. You hurt her feelings. I did? Yeah, you told her she was too young to learn how to balance balloons. Well, don't you think she is a little young to be balancing balloons? <laughs> no way, Noodle. Young people can do amazing things. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. Yep. In fact, there's a Bible story all about it. Well, why don't you go find Mr. Benny and uh, let me see that Bible story? All right, Noodle, I'll go get Mr. Benny, and we will tell you the Bible story. See you later, Mr. Stevie. How about a big high five? Big high five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you, kids. Bye, Noodle. Mr. Stevie. Hey, kids. Hey, who's ready for today's Bible story with Mr. Stevie? I'm ready, Mr. Benny. I'm ready. All right. Hey, what's the name of today's story? Today's story is called Jesus as a Boy. Jesus as a Boy? Mm hmm. Mm, interesting. Yep. Let's go. Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. 
When Jesus was 12 years old, they went to the festival as usual. He was 12 years old. 12 years old. And Mr. Stevie, uh -huh. did you know I was 12 years old for a whole year one time? A whole year? <laughs> it's a joke. I, I get it, Mr. Benny. When the festival was over, they went home. But Jesus, he stayed in Jerusalem. He stayed without his parents? Yep. His parents did not know about it. The, so he was like, lost? Yeah, he was sort of lost. Oh no. They traveled for a whole day thinking that Jesus was with them in the group. Hmm. They began looking for him among their family and close friends, but they didn't find him. Everybody say, oh no. Oh no. So they went back to Jerusalem to look for him there. Mm -hmm. After three days, they found him. Three days. Everybody say, hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Jesus was sitting in a temple area with all the religious teachers listening and asking them questions. Hmm. Everyone was amazed at his understanding and wise answers. Hey guys, let's do this. Let's do our amazed face. You ready? Amazed face? Let's see, the, let's see like their amazed face. Right. Let's make amazed it. You ready? Face. One, two, three. <gasps> Good job! Good job, Mr. Benny. When his parents saw him, they wondered how this was possible. And his mother said, Son, why did you do this to us? Your father and I were very worried about you. Oh, he was he was in trouble. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they were they were kind of getting on to him a little bit. Yeah, because Ugh. you know, he'd run off. He'd run well, yeah, he stayed I and mean, they yeah. Mm, for yeah. days. For three days. Three days. Three days, <laughs> yeah. Jesus said to them, why did you have to look for me? You should have known that I must be where my father's house is. Oh. So he told him, like, he said, I was taking care of my father's business in my father's house, talking about God. That's right. And that is the end of this story. Wow, that's a pretty amazing story. And you know what's amazing about it to me? What? Is that Jesus was 12 years old, and he was in there amazing everybody at the temple with the way he could talk and answer questions and he knew about the scriptures yeah and he had probably been studying don't you think i'm sure he was studying yeah i'm sure he was great story mr stevie it's a really really awesome story Mr. hey Stevie. you know what do what? we have a practice point that goes with this story oh oh we do we did oh good good, good. Right. what is it yep so the practice point is even though you are a kid, you can do great things like Jesus did. Even though you are a kid, you can do great things like Jesus did. Even though you are a kid, you can do great things like Jesus did. Even though you are a kid, you can do great things like Jesus did.
boys and girls. Hey, who's ready to learn about the Ten Commandments? I'm ready, Mr. Benny. Oh, cool, Mr. Stevie. Hey, we're gonna need a little help for a stagehand. There he is. Hey, oh, stagehand. How about a high five? Right here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, so you can read about the Ten Commandments in the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20. You can learn how to say them from there. And you can read about them, right? Mm -hmm. so, in the Bible. In the Bible. In We're going to learn how to say them together today. So here we go. We're going to start off with uh, the first one. We think about God being everywhere, mm -hmm. but we also think about God being up in heaven. So take your thumb and point it up and say, no other gods. No other gods. No other gods. No other gods. Very good. And then the next one, you hold your finger up, and it kind of looks like the letter I. We're going to take that I and shake it and say, no idols. No idols. Very good. And the next one's like this. You make an O, just like that. Just You make an O, and that's for the word O. Because you hear o. people say something that's not very nice. They'll say, oh God, or oh my God. And what they're really doing is they're getting his attention, but then they're not talking to him. Watch. I'll give you an example. Hey, Stevie. What's up, Mr. And say, I just ignore him. Well, that's kind of what it's like when we say, oh, God, and then we don't talk to him. Right? Mm -hmm. Good. So everybody say, no bad words. No bad words. Let's try those three together. You right. ready? No, no other, other gods. gods. No, no idols. No, no bad words. words. Now, the next one, you want to make a W with your fingers. See, it kind of looks like the shape of a W. Good job, stagehand. And this one is remember the worship day. Remember the worship day. You want to say that together? Remember, remember the, the worship, worship day. day. Very good. Let's say those together. You ready? Right. No, no other gods. gods. No, no idols. No bad words. Remember, remember the, the worship day. day. The next one's so much fun. Is it? Yes. You hold up your little finger like this and you bounce it up and down, and you go back and forth, and you say, obey your mommies and daddies. 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 And then the next one, you keep that little finger out, and you make a sword sound. You go like, shoo, 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 shoo. And you say, no killing. No killing. Let's try it together. Ready? Shoo, no, no killing. Kill. Hey, let's do all those together. You guys right. ready? Okay, here we go. No, no other gods. gods. No idols, no bad words. Remember the worship day. Obey your mommies and daddies. No killing. The next one, I want you to point to your wedding ring. I mean, your wedding ring finger. That's right. Your wedding ring finger. And say, stay with the one you're married to. 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 Okay, let's try them all together. Here we go. <clears throat> No, no other gods, gods. No, no idols, no bad words. Remember, remember the worship day. day. Obey your mommies and daddies. Shh. No killing. Stay with the one you're married to. And the next one is no stealing. No stealing. You act like you're a pickpocket, but that's not what we don't want to do and say no stealing. No stealing. And then make an upside down L. Shake it and say no lying. No lying. And then make a J and shake it and say no jealousy. No jealousy. And that's the Ten Commandments. That's all of them. Ten. Ten. Yep. We just learned all ten. Oh. Y'all want, want to say them together? Yep. Let's okay, say here we go. All together. All stage right. hand, are you ready? Wow, stage hand's doing an awesome job today. Okay, good. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. No, no other gods. gods. No, no idols. No, no bad, bad words. words. Remember, Remember the worship words. day. Obey your mommies and daddies. No killing. Stay with the one you're married to. No stealing, no lying, and no jealousy. All right, guys. Let's say them all together one more time. One more time. Are you ready, Stevie? I'm ready, Mr. Stay Chan, are you ready? Cool. All right, let's get started. One, two, three. No other gods. No idols. No bad words. Remember the worship day. Obey your mommies and daddies. No killing. Stay with the one you're married to. No stealing, no lying, and no jealousy. Everybody go, yay! Yay! <laughs> oh.
Um, hello, boys and girls. Where did the ostrich go? I wonder if Mr. Stevie knows about this. <laughs> hello, today's memory verse is from 1 Timothy 4.12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Do you want to hear it one more time? Okay. 1 Timothy 4.12 Don't let anyone Look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Wow, great job, boys and girls. Yeah! Where'd that ostrich go? Ostrich! Hello, boys and girls. Hey, guys, how's it going? It is time to say the fruit of the spirit. Bananas, oranges, cherries. Mr. Benny, uh -huh. the fruit of the spirit. Oh, yeah. Um, pineapple, uh, grapes, and papaya. No, no, star it's, fruit. It's the one that love joy. Those. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. All right, we're gonna say them all together. Yeah. Let's are go. you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Kids, are you ready? They're ready. Okay. One, two. Three, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Good job, Mr. Benny. You too, Mr. Stevie, that was awesome. Well, hey, Tabby. Hey, Noodle. Hey, Tabby, there's something I need to tell you. Um, um, I'm really, really sorry for the things I said. Um, and by the way, I saw your video where you're bouncing the balloons. You are amazing! Oh, well, thank you, and it's okay. I forgive you. Thank you so much, Tabby. Wow, that grandpa's a good teacher, huh? Yes. Hey, have you seen uh, Mr. Stevie? Uh, he's somewhere. Hey, you Noodle. Hey, Tabby. Hey, hey Mr. Stevie. Stevie. What's up? Well, nothing much. Hey, did you watch the story? Oh, man, thank you so much for that story. It helped me so much. You know, I didn't know I didn't know that story, and it was awesome. Uh-uh. And Tabby, I saw you balancing the balloon. That was amazing. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Grandpa's awesome, isn't he? Oh, he is. Grandpa! Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, I'm Mr. Stevie. What's you up, think, Noodle? Do you think you remember the practice point? Do I remember the practice point? Yeah, I kind of forgot it, but, uh... I do remember the practice point, Noodle. What was it? Even though you were a kid, you can do great things like Jesus did. Even though you are a kid, you can do great things like Jesus did. That is an amazing practice point, isn't it, Noodle? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. hey, can we say it one more time together? All right. Even, Even though, though you, you are, are a kid, kid you can do, do great things, things like Jesus did. did. Even though you are a kid, you can do great things like Jesus did. Hey, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Mr. Stevie. No hey, I gotta go. Noodle. See you later, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you. kids, I hope you learned today that it doesn't matter how young you are, you can do great things. You can learn to do or make something new. You can help those around you. And like our Bible verse said today, no matter how young you are, you can be a good example to everyone around you. <laughs> That's right. You can be a good example to the smaller kids around you and to the grown-ups. When Jesus came to earth, to be an example to us even when he was a kid and we all want to be like Jesus. Our practice point can remind you of this. Even though you are a kid, you can do great things like Jesus did. One more time. Even though you are a kid, you can do great things like Jesus did. Great job, boys and girls. I'll see you next time. Ha <laughs> ha!